Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Bam, 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 bam. I got some good news for you. There is a family that were not exempt from travel restrictions, who bypassed the travel restrictions, and they landed in Canada. And I was going to cover the entire story on this video, but I was discouraged because I don't want to get you guys into trouble. And this is my favorite street where we are driving, by the way, because you get coffee here. <laughs> Whoops, almost went somewhere else. Anyways, guys, no more distracted driving, so hands on the steering wheel, like, uh, what's it called? Nine by three, you hold your hands like this and you're a professional driver like me. Anyways, okay, uh, my CTV pr transmission is really swollen, this Honda Civic, I need my Subaru back that I sold. And there is a police car, so just pretend like we are not recording the video and I'm not drinking the coffee. <sighs> Anyways, what I wanted to tell you guys in today's video is, before we get started, okay, I'll, I'll tell you, before we get started guys, I want to mention that I actually started the challenge for every one of you who wants to talk to me personally. I know I make videos for you, but there are some questions where people just want to talk to me and so ask me some questions where you cannot ask them in the comments and just want to have a chat with me and possibly even with, uh, with my wife. So basically guys, I made a challenge. You can actually do that if you follow me on Instagram and the link is in the description of this video. I'll run a randomizer, so we have three random people. I'll message you directly and we are going to schedule a call with three of you guys for half an hour and have a chat and you can ask me whatever you want. Okay, whatever you want. Just don't ask me for my social insurance number and my credit card and my bank account. Other than that, Okay, whatever you want to ask, you can ask me. Anyways, guys, here is the highlights of the story of the people who landed in Canada bypassing the travel restriction, guys. So, I'm going to give you the highlights because I don't want you to do the same. The reason for that is not, I'm not a mean person. I'm actually a caring person. I don't want, see there's a Canadian flag somewhere over there. I don't know if it's a tiny one. You can see far, far away. I don't want you to give up on your dream. I don't want to, you to lose your status in Canada. If you got your COPR, Confirmation Permanent Residence, you're basically Canadian. I don't want you to get in trouble with the law and lose everything you got for immigration and building your Canadian dream. That's the only reason, guys, that why I don't want to give all the details, because if I give all the details, people are going to try it. After watching this video, people are going to try it because everyone is fed up with the Canadian immigration system, with the travel restrictions, like myself. I wanted to travel to another country this year and I couldn't with this travel restrictions. I hate it. Anyways, here's what happened. I have an Airbnb. I run multiple businesses, guys. And uh, someone booked there from European Union, one of the European Union countries. They booked a ticket to Canada. They got their COPR. They said, screw it. We want to go to Canada. We love Canada. We hate our country. We want to be Canadians. We want to live in Canada. They took their stuff. They booked the tickets. They went to the airport. They booked my Airbnb. And then they went to the airport. Nothing happened. They were not allowed to board the airplane. They were sent home. They said there are travel restrictions in place. You cannot come to Canada. You are not exempt from travel restrictions. They went home. They canceled the booking. They said how upset they are. And I haven't heard from those people for about three weeks. So what happened next? And this is the interesting part. Well, three weeks later or a little bit more, they texted me saying just an update that they got in. They are in Calgary. They landed. They got their immigration done. It took them 18 days. They traveled approximately three countries. Can you imagine them? Traveling three countries in order to land in Canada. My goodness. They had to go through all sorts of COVID testing, testing multiple times. They basic, why did they travel three countries? Okay, so basically some countries can enter Canada. Apparently, I don't know the details and I don't want to get into details because I don't want you to try to do the same. So 
in order to enter one of the, in order to enter Canada to bypass the travel restrictions they went to one country then from that country they went through isolation period they went to another country they did their covid testing and met uh, gained travel restrictions in order for them to enter Canada and they entered Canada probably the immigration officer <coughs> oh guys it's not corona i'm just drinking co coffee here probably the immigration officer guys was in a good mood cbsa officer that they let them in basically they spent a ton of money flying all around the world to meet all the legal requirements of every country in order to meet the legal requirements for canada now i don't know if they have relatives in canada i don't know any of those details and I don't want to tell you which countries they went to. But what I tell you is that the determination, the admiration that I have for those people is crazy. But at the same time, I think it was dumb to spend that much of money in order to come to Canada to take that much of risk. Because they could have been, you know, if the CBSA officer was not in a good mood, they could have been charged they could have been refused, found inadmissible to Canada and sent home again, one more time, for this reckless and stupid move. But they made it and I salute them for their bravery and determination as long as everything is legal. But I don't want you guys to do any of that sort. So please do not start doing all the research which countries that could be and try to do, you know, replicate it. Just wait a little bit. Wait for the travel restrictions to go away. Follow the law and be patient. Please, guys, do not do what those people did. Anyways, if you haven't got your COPR in Canada and confirmation permit residency, you first have to get it. And here are the ways in 2021 how you can immigrate to Canada. So, first way is express entry. You know all about it, so I don't even have to tell you. Every YouTuber told you about express entry already. Do you really want to know about express entry, guys? I don't think so. But I'll tell you this thing, that FSW, Foreign Skilled Workers, stream, were not getting any invitation this year. Everyone was getting from in peace or Canadian experience class so it was so sad to find out that people are not getting their invitations but at the same time you see guys COPR holders immigrants who are already done with the immigration trying to enter Canada cannot do that and they have to try three countries 18 days on the airplane to come here what a crazy times guys reminds me of the stories from Canadians who told me about their grand-grand-grandfathers who came here on a boat, in a barrel, sleeping with the goats, with the cows, in a haystack, in the dirt, you know, living in the dirt with five dollars and nothing in their pockets, with no English or anything. They came to this uninhabitable land. There's nothing to do here. From civilized countries, like in Europe, we really developed to this middle of nowhere and they build this country so it reminds me of those stories of admiration but seriously I think it's a little bit crazy and uh, you know unthoughtful to do it at this time now there is another way how do you can immigrate other than express entry from FSW CEC on foreign uh, trades worker guys is family sponsorship and it's a huge program family sponsorship it can be Sponsoring of a spouse, getting married, common law partner, congel partner, okay? It can be parent or grandparent. You can, for example, if you have a relative in Canada who wants to sponsor, sponsor your parent, you can get your immigration done by same being on same application for parent or grandparent sponsorship. So that is there. Then uh, in FS, then for family sponsorship, also, you can literally sponsor your sibling. For example, if you are alone in Canada and you want to sponsor, you know, like you don't have any partner, husband, wife, children, no one, there is that way to sponsor as well. There is also a way to sponsor someone on compassionate grounds. 
but I would definitely recommend you to get an immigration lawyer or a consultant for compassion grounds. Please do not file the application by yourself. You might screw it up and you're not eligible to appeal the application on compassion grounds because it's not a part of a family sponsorship. Anyways, then you can go through provincial nominee programs. Most of them have provinces. There's lots of programs there to immigrate to Canada. Most of them require you to be in Canada, have some kind of relationship to the program province, and they also have their own scoring system. So it's pretty complicated, but you can definitely do a research on different provincial nominee programs by province, by choosing the place where you want to stay. It's a separate video. I mean, there's like 10 videos I can make each of them 20 minutes talking about each of those programs. Now there is also a program that is a pilot program. And this is the most popular ways, guys, to immigrate to Canada. That's EMS, by the way, emergency service. I'm just trying to keep my distance, guys, because those guys, they have a radio and they'll be like, this guy is recording the video in a car. Let's give him a ticket. So I'm just trying to be careful, guys. Anyways, basically what happens is that there is Rural Immigration North and Northern Pilot Program, and there is another program that is um, Atlantic Immigration uh, Pilot. Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program requires you to have a job offer from one of the designated employers. I listed them on my website, by the way, and it's really easy to get there. But you know, you need a job offer. Then there is some programs like Living Caregiver that are not pilot programs but our federal programs. Guys, there is about 40 something ways to immigrate to Canada. There is a ton of ways to immigrate to Canada, but just remember this guys, right now, I don't wanna be giving you bad news. If you have a relative, direct relative in Canada, it's the easiest way to immigrate right now. If you have a job offer in Canada right now, it's also easier. You might be exempt from travel restrictions, guys. But if you get your immigration done, you don't have relatives, you don't have a reason to be here other than immigration. They're not going to let you in, unfortunately. We are all waiting until they lift those restrictions. Guys, so here you go. This is the way it's how to immigrate to Canada in 2021. Sounds a little bit depressing to me, but there are chances for you anyways. And please do not follow, you know, do not search for loopholes on immigration because you might get in trouble. Especially immigration officers, they know about the loopholes and they catch people and you might be compromised and inadmissible to Canada. Anyways, guys, here's what I want to tell you. One more last thing. Follow me on Instagram if you want to talk to me directly. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in Canada. See you in next video. And I'll keep you updated as soon as... I have good news for you. I'll make another video and I'll announce it publicly, publicly when you can come here. See you soon, guys. Bye for now.